Here's a review on the Sika Ballistic Vest. It's interchangeable shoulder pads, zippered hand pockets, adjustable waistband, magnetic quick connect buckle, durable water repellent finish. Here is it on. I mean, I'm pretty big. I'm I'm 6'4", 240. Um, here is the buckle. I don't know if you can see it. There's the buckle. And you, that can cinch down. Here are the pockets. I mean, kind of hard to get to in my opinion. Not terrible. There's pockets here. Same thing on the side. Pocket. Pocket. It does not have a back pouch here. I, I wish it would, but it doesn't. But. Here's the shoulder pad. It only comes with one because I'm a right hand shooter. Obviously, it's on my right shoulder. Um, the adjustable waistband is right here on both sides, which is nice. Um, I'll show you the shoulder pad. Um, you basically have to pick. No, no, you don't. I lied. Um, this is how you take it out. I'm not going to take it out, it's a pain to get back in, but if you're a left-handed shooter and you want to switch that, that's how you do that. It's a tab right here. Um, it's not... I wish it was a little quieter, I mean, it's a little loud, but it's not terrible. Um, like, it is pretty expensive for an orange vest, but you know what? If you have the money and you want to spend, it's pretty good. Well, there was my review on the ballistic vest from Sika. Um, just to recap, I mean, it is, it's a hundred dollar vest for an orange vest, um, it, which it is pretty expensive, but I mean, Sika makes great stuff. I can't complain about their stuff, but um, the only downfall about it is it doesn't have that back pouch to put stuff in if you were pheasant hunting, dove hunting, squirrel hunting, that type of stuff, um, and the noise, rubbing on it, scratching it, but I don't really think it affects too much, but yep, that is my review.